Oh my god. My name's Nick Driftwood, UK filmmaker and Lumix ambassador, and I've been charged to go off on safari and shoot wildlife, and in particular, the tiger in India. So we decided to visit Ranthambore National Park near Sawi Madapur, which is around 360 kilometers from India's capital. So we took an atmospheric train ride down through the heartland, lasting just over five hours. And it was quite a journey, meeting lots of lovely people, hearing their stories and sharing food and tea and enjoying the visual splendour of the Rajasthan countryside. It also gave us time to check over our equipment and preparations for our week-long safari adventure. I'd packed the Panasonic GH5S along with a 12mm f1.4 Leica DG Summilux lens for wides. We also had the 12-35 and the 35-100 for close-ups the awesome 100 to 400 mm Leica DG Vario Elmar telephoto zoom, plus the terrific Leica DG Elmarit 200 mm f2.8 telephoto prime, with its lovely 1.4 extender to get in close at a distance. Our producer, Donna Close, chose to use the versatile Leica DG Vario Elmarit 12 to 60 mm f2.8 to 4 lens on her GH5 for all the behind the scenes footage. For stability, as we knew we were traveling in a Jeep, we chose the Ziontech Crane 2, a Manfrotto monopod, along with a trusted beanbag or two. For visual enhancements in the glare of the sun, we took along a very high EVF cage rig. We had been invited by wildlife conservationist and world-renowned photographer Dickie Singh to stay with him and his lovely wife and family at his Ranthambore Barg, a favourite lodge for seasoned photographers and broadcast filmmakers alike, as it's close to the heart of the park area. And on arrival we got straight down to preparation with him, talking through the narrative structure of William Blake's famous poem, The Tiger. He had agreed to provide the recital of the poem, as well as be our expert guide out in the park, with his many years of experience. Shooting tigers and wildlife is no easy matter. You have to be really prepared and ready for the unexpected. The moment you spot tigers for the first time, your heart is pounding and you almost forget to take the shot, retain focus and concentrate on exposure. Thankfully, the Lumix GH5S and Panasonic Leica's excellent lenses operate at lightning fast speed and it's great to have autofocus assist on manual mode. We shot the whole film in HDR hybrid log gamma so that we could realise all that detail in the highlights and in the shadows. The tiger is such a beautiful creature, for sure my favourite cat, and William Blake's 18th century poem truly captures the fierce will of the human soul as represented through the imagery of the tiger, igniting supreme imagination, spirituality and ideals. Narrator Dickie Singh recited it with aplomb, and with such locally infused passion. If you don't have an interest in safaris, then I have a lot to say to you. You're probably uh, a loser with no purpose in life. Uh, you need to, I mean, you need to come here and see them once. Uh, you, you get addicted to it, like you. You probably are by now. 
Actually, the, the trick is that you don't get close to the tiger. You park in such a way and let them approach you. Uh, if you you try to go close to them, they'll they'll walk away from you. But if you give them a bit of, bit of space and then stay there for some time, they come all over. They're all over you. They're all around you. As long as you're inside the vehicle, it's very safe. They'll they'll never attack you. It is great fun. It is. Uh, there's a tigress called Noor with two pretty grown-up cubs. Three grown-up cubs, but one stays away. Uh, one of the forest guards in the morning told me that she's made a kill down, down about a few miles down at this gate. Uh, she's killed a big sambar in a place which is pretty open. So we're going to go check her out. Uh, it's always good to good to find two or three tigers together because there's always there's some interaction, there is some action, um, and there are three tigers, so there's lots of stuff to shoot. Uh, we hope to find them, and we we should. We should. They normally, uh, once they make a kill, they stay around the kill for a day or two days till they finish it. Uh, the kill's in a pretty open place uh, and there's water about a few hundred meters away from there. So we should find them either on the kill or on, or on the water or on both the places. I've got a GH4 and a GH5, a Panasonic GH4 and GH5. Uh, I have a, a 45 to 200 mm lens which is the zoom, so it gives me a good range to work in. Um, and I've also been shooting with a 200 2.8, which is a fixed uh, telephoto, but that's a really good range for tigers out there. I've been a silk photographer for 20 years now, so I've figured out the angles and the behavior of the animal, the layout of the park pretty well. Uh, you learn, you learn, you get better, you make mistakes, you get better. Visit yeah, India yeah. and Ranthambore. And the Rantamore bag, we'll sort it out for you. Uh. My name is Kevin Matthews. Um, I wrote the music to Tiger Tiger. The whole experience from start to finish involved me preparing for the video prior to arriving imagining a structure, a slight um, idea of orchestration. I knew that I wanted to be modern, but I knew that it wanted to reflect India and, and the scenario because the, the camera is brand new, fresh. It's bringing new ideas, but India is old and ancient. The poem Tiger Tiger was very influential with regards to the choices that I made. There's obviously a lot of imagery relating to the tiger, so that was, a, that was a, a big decision, sort of deciding how to portray the tiger. Do we portray it in a sense of wonder or a sense of threat or danger or anything like that? So we went with the former. Samples from the fire when we were filming around the camp out in leopard country. And um, yeah, the, the, the starlight in, in, in the poem, I wanted to bring that in. That was a great opportunity to really sort of widen out the stereo field of the of the piece and then narrow it down for the last section of the composition to give it some focus for the last bit when the footsteps of the tiger are sort of coming in. I mean, you, you're always looking for a point where, depending on how long the piece is, you're thinking, where's the, where's, the, where's the peak, where's the rise? Every piece of music, generally speaking, needs to have tension and release. But also, it has to reflect a feeling that is represented in the words, in the imagery, um, whilst also um, combining together with something different. You know, that, that's, that's how I always feel that I approach it. Building up to a focal point, and yeah, that's, that's, that's how, how I generally tell the stories. A melody is key for me. The Tiger by William Blake. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? In 
what distant deeps or skies burn the fires of thine eyes on what wings dare he aspire what the hand dare seize the fire and what shoulder and what art could twist the sinews of thy heart and when thy heart began to beat what dread hand and what dread feet what the hammer what the chain in what furnace was thy brain what the anvil what the grass dare its deadly terrors clasp when the stars threw down the spears and watered heaven with their tears did he smile his work to see did he who made the lamb make thee Immortal and alive, dare frame thy fearful symmetry.